getting rocks thrown up in a radiator. Radiator uh, is pretty light. And uh, rock will go right through it and take you out of the race. Figure if you're behind a, another 185, 200 horsepower super bike that throws a rock back, it's like a bullet. So we need something that's gonna hold up. Like a lot of these teams, you use a radiator guard to protect the radiator. Absolutely, yeah, especially places like Daytona, places like here that has a, you know, a lot of speed and a lot of debris. You gotta be really careful to keep the stones out. My favorite example is turn one at Infineon where everybody runs off into the gravel a little bit. A little bit and a big acceleration zone, a lot of rear wheel spin, you eat a lot of, it's just, it's, it's a debris factor, yeah, for sure. So I was looking under there, you've got two radiators. We have an oil cooler and a radiator. Yeah. And you've got it protected on both of those? Yeah, Cox makes uh, the protectors that, that we have and they're a Portland business, which is in our hometown. We didn't even know they were there. They came out and introduced them themselves and, and uh, offered their products to us and it's a fantastic product and we've been really pleased with it. Uh, I mean, in your racing career, have you had radiator failures or seen guards oh, yeah. save you? Oh, for sure, yeah. I think. I think we all use guards because we've had the failures, right? And uh, we were using uh, another product that we had just built ourselves and uh, his stuff just looks a lot nicer, it's a lot tidier, easier to install and uh, so it's all good. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for giving us an insight into your world. All right, but thank you. So we're gonna look at one of your super bikes and about radiator guards. It's important to have a radiator guard on the radiator because uh, the tires are so sticky they'll pick up rocks and, and throw them at the bike behind and uh, if you collect one in the radiator and it hits one of the rows uh, that has the water in it that, that goes across it can put a hole in it and uh, then your race is over pretty much. It takes a couple laps but the water will leak out and then the bike overheats and you're done. So uh, we use a radiator guard uh, or a screen that goes in front of the radiator and it slows the rock down hopefully enough that it doesn't damage the radiator and uh, we've used a variety of uh, aluminum mesh, stainless mesh, uh, uh, we've used all different kinds of things but the, the guard that we have now is uh, it's a perforated titanium uh, so it is lightweight and it uh, does a really good job of stopping the rocks. Uh, it, uh, it took some big hits at Daytona where there's big rocks and a lot of speed and uh, Stopped everything, we didn't really have any problems there. So um, it's made by Cox radiator screens. And uh, uh, it's got a nice shroud around the outside so it doesn't rub on the radiator and it doesn't do any other kind of damage. And it's easy to install, it takes about, probably about 15 minutes to put one on. And uh, it would be, you know, it would be a good addition to a street bike as well because, you know, you can get the same thing on the street, so. Now, it's held on by these little black doodads right here. Are they, is that like a zip tie yeah, or something? Yeah. So uh, what you do is you just take the screen and uh, you need to have access to the back side of the radiator. So sometimes you have to take the radiator off. Uh, it's best if you take it off, but you can do it on the bike. It's a little more work. But you uh, apply foam to the, to the edges, around the edges where the, where the screen is. And then you just use uh, two zip ties. You put one on the front and then put it, put it through and uh, put another zip tie on the back and then cut it off and uh, and it locates it and it takes about you know three across the top and two on the bottom and uh, and then it's going nowhere and it's protecting your radiator and still doesn't restrict the airflow at all. All right well thanks for the scoop. Yeah you bet it's a good product and uh, you know some people give you things and you're like yeah but this one actually really does something for us it helps out a lot so we appreciate the product. Yeah.